uh, two films today, both of which were directed by women, that opened in Atlanta this week. Uh, one of them opened in July uh, elsewhere, but finally made it to Atlanta this week. And the other one opened, uh, I think, everywhere this week. So the first one was Equity, which uh, was directed by Mira Menon. And was, so it was, it's like lots of women worked on this. It was produced by Alicia Rayner and Sarah Megan Thomas, who also star in it. And it was written by Alicia Rayner, and the story kit was by Alicia Rayner and Sarah Megan Thomas with a screenplay by Amy Fox. So it's lots of women involved. Um, it stars Anna Gunn as an investment banker who is dealing with some crazy shit in her career, some IPOs aren't working out for her. I'm not really sure how finance works in this like level, so uh, a lot of it was over my head. But the like um, interpersonal drama and stuff, I felt, you know, like I did. I didn't feel like I needed to understand what was happening to understand what was happening. If that makes any sense. Um, so it, the stars of the movie were Anna Gunn, James Purefoy, who is starting to get old. Um, as you do, um, Sarah Megan Thomas, Elisa Reiner, Margaret Collin for like a second, I love her, um, and Craig Burko. And I, I thought it was really great. I like, I was really invested in the characters. I was invested in them like not fucking this up and not fucking each other over. But then when they did, I'm just like, ah, of course you did that. And um, I don't know, I just thought it was, it was like there's not a single character in there that you can really like. Um, everyone's an asshole. and But at the same time, you really feel um, you at, at least can kind of root for the Anna Gunn character because she's the least asshole of all of them. Um, and she's like, she's the one you, you want to do well, but you realize that she's in this horrible industry and that things are probably not going to turn out all that well somebody's gonna get fucked over because it's wall street right and so you're just trying to see like who who is gonna get fucked over the worst um and who's gonna make a bajillion dollars so i i just really liked it i think it had a lot to say about women i think it showed women behaving more like women like real women than i've seen in a, a whole lot of movies um which i think has a lot to say with having like everything from the writing, the produce, producing, the directing, all being women and all this cast being women, you could really feel that like this behavior felt right. It felt how people would behave um, because there's no cat fighting. There's there's like backstabbing and shit. But there's no act, no cat fighting because cat fighting doesn't really happen that often. It's all it's all more subtle than that. And I feel like this movie really got that. Um, and then there's you know temptations of of money and there were lesbians which is always good and um lesbians with a family I don't know I just thought it was I thought it was good it had there were really it had you know what was I trying to say I don't even know what I'm trying to say I just thought it was really well done and I really enjoyed it it was just a very solid solid thriller with great performances and just very very feminine in without being quote unquote girly, if that makes sense. Um, I just thought it was great. I look forward to more films. Um, Mira Menon also did a film a few years ago called Farrah Goes Bang, which I still have not seen, but I believe is on Amazon. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing that and seeing what she does after this because she was great. And Sarah Megan Thomas, I'd never seen in anything before, and she gave such an amazing performance that I was just like, who is this person? It was it's always wonderful to uh, uh, discover a new, a new star, you know. So the next film I saw opened in Atlanta today, but it's also on VOD, so you can rent it if, if you want. It's called The Intervention, and it was written and directed by Clea Duvall. It's her directorial debut. I have always enjoyed her as an actress, and um, I enjoyed this film. It's very um, big chilly with lots of people getting together. A weekend to hash out their shit. It's funny. It's sad. It's um, wacky sometimes. It has 
an amazing cast. Clea Duvall, Melanie Linsky, Alia Shawat, Sh Shokat, God, that name is hard, Colby Smulders, Natasha Leone, Jason Ritter, Ben Schwartz, and Vincent Piazza. I love Vincent Piazza because of Boardwalk Empire. He is a delight, and he needs to work more because he's great. Um, the one, My one complaint about the film was I felt like it was under, it underused Jason Ritter. He's so charming and cute and he like lights up the screen every time he shows up and I don't feel like he got enough screen time. Um, but with a cast this big, what are you going to do? Melanie Linsky, uh, on the other hand, is always the MVP. Melanie Linsky is the greatest actress pretty much working today and uh, at least the greatest comic actress. I love her so much. She's been delightful since um, Ever After was the first movie I remember her from. Um, because I hadn't seen Heavenly Creatures when, when I saw Ever After. But every time she pops up in a movie, I just love it because she's so great. Um, so it's it's really about various relationships, both romantic relationships, familial relationships, friend relationships, and dealing with um, growing through things, growing up, dealing with heartbreak, dealing with your own uh, hang-ups, dealing with your own problems, dealing with other people's problems, how you should navigate all of that. Um, and it felt, you know, I really I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed all the characters. I enjoyed all the performances. Um, it's maybe not like breaking any, any you know, new roads or anything, but if I... I'm enjoying my time with the characters. That's all I, that I really want from a movie. And that's what I felt from this film. Like, I really enjoyed all the time I felt with all of these different characters. Um, and, like I said, my only complaint really was I wanted more Jason, time with Jason with Jason Ritter because he's just so charming. So charming. So, um, this was Cleo Duvall's Intervention. And the previous one was Mira Minton's Equity. I recommend both films. I enjoyed them a lot.